What's up guys? I am back. I'm trying to get back into YouTube and I thought why not start off with something that will change my videos. So I went ahead and bought a brand new camera. I used to shoot on the GoPro but I got rid of it. Um, so now I need a new camera to shoot all my videos. I'm sorry for the background. By the way, I'm in my garage. So anyway, I just want to do a quick unboxing and let you guys know what I have here. Um, what do I have here is the Osmo Pocket DJI. Basically, it's like a handheld camera with like a handle and it's basically a uh, GoPro or from what I understand, a little bit of a better version of the GoPro. It does everything that it does, um, the GoPro does, but um, this one is a, just a little bit more technical. So I think that it might be a lot easier to handle and work with when I'm shooting like my videos because I can easily press a button and the camera itself will flip around. Now, if you see this RB, that means it's a refurbished unit. I went ahead and got it refurbished because I think I paid probably 30, 25 to 30% less um, versus a brand new one and I was like why not just try it out and see first if it's something that I like and then if so I can move ahead and get a brand new one if this one is um, not cutting it. So you see the first thing on the back of the camera. Um, also sorry I'm shooting with my phone right now since I don't have my GoPro anymore but the first thing it just says Osmo Shield. Um, comprehensive coverage give you two years warranty so basically that's just warranty and then it seems like there's an app uh works with imovie final cut pro x made for iphones just has a list of all the iphones that it's compatible with so i'm definitely gonna have to take a look at that and see what uh that entails coming around to the side dji front dji osmo pocket refurbished unit big sticker right there and then just dji your way so I'm um, sorry for the position, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys uh, and see what's in the box. So opening the little flap at the top, we're greeted with, real quick, uh, it seems like a couple different compartments, nothing else. Uh, so just information guide, warranty, all of that boring goodness. And then this seems to be the unit itself. And at the bottom, just some preservative, I don't know, what do you call that, beads? And it seems like this might be the power cable that we use to charge it up. Let's look. Yep, I was right. And if I'm correct from what I look at, it's USB-C. And, oops, drop the key. Yep. So USB-C right there, it comes with a little handheld um, thing so you can put it around your wrist so it doesn't fall, so I appreciate that. And then there's also a conversion. So I can actually plug this into my phone, it looks like. So there's a USB-C and a lightning connection, which I'm guessing I can plug it from this straight into my phone and pull the videos over. So that's actually pretty cool if I'm trying to film and upload some videos or check them out on the go. All right, so I just laid out all that you get in the box. Like I said, this is a charging cable. It is a USB-C. You get a lightning cable and a USB-C cable to plug into your phone, I'm assuming, and then a little strap to put over your wrist. And then this is the uh, camera itself. And it seems like it's in a, um, a sleeve or protective casing. And all you do to open it is you just pull on that and it and you guys can actually see what it kind of looks like. This just moves around, around to the front, DJI, USB-C at the bottom. So not that, yep. USB-C at the bottom. You have your camera right there. And to be completely honest, even though this is a refurbished unit, it's actually almost brand new. I don't notice any scratches or anything on it. Okay, so something quite cool that I just noticed is these. If you want to plug it into your phone, you'll go ahead and take these and you'll actually connect it over into here because it is behind that door and that's basically how you'll connect the camera to your phone. I held down here and then it came up. It's asking for English. 
uh, focus and fail device is not connected device not activated so i have to read a little bit of an instructions and then i'll get back to you guys and let you guys know exactly what i had to do to set it up and everything like that all right what's up guys i'm doing a voice over just to show you guys how um to find the app and set up the camera so the first thing you would need to do is basically if you have an iphone or an android in my case an iphone you would go to the app store and you would basically just search up dgi mimo and then it will be the first app you'll just open the app and then just agree to the terms and conditions all that good stuff and it'll proper with a bunch of notifications and you just agree or disagree depending on what you want to do and then over on your top left is where you'll actually activate your camera now it, there was two options where you could find one via bluetooth or you could plug it in directly into your phone in my case i actually had to plug it in directly to my phone using the little port that they um, included in the box once you do that is gonna um, recognize it and it's gonna go through the process of activating and it's just gonna take you through like a few steps asking you about the warranty and then it's gonna go through the process of showing you exactly where to put the micro SD card and how to use the camera um, other than that is pretty much self-explanatory all right guys so this is just a test video of what the camera looks like i have no idea how the quality is going to be i messed around with it for a little bit it says right now it's shoot shooting in 10 p 30 frames per second so i don't really know we'll see exactly what that looks like once i export it onto my computer but just a test run of how it looks like right now it's actually tracking my face is actually pretty cool i finally got it all set up as you guys saw from the previous uh little screen recordings how i went through it i was having problems for it seeing uh the device through the bluetooth so i had to hard uh connect it with the little connection depending on what phone you have i have an iphone so i used the lightning port and i connected it straight to the phone and then it found it so that's a a uh, little tip if you were having any problems and all you need to do is remove that little door right there but other than that it's all set up and good to go right now i am filming from my phone so i'm gonna actually switch it over and start filming from this anyway that's gonna be it for this video it's a really quick short video hope you guys enjoy uh more to come from this channel uh more car videos uh, life videos, vlogs, all of that. I'm also going to do a video on where I've been and what I've been up to for the past few months while I've been absent from YouTube. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to watch new videos and see what's coming up next. Bye.